thank you very much, Hugo. Uh, you know, when Hugo uh, invited me for this keynote, I, I was very honored, so it's really a honor to be here, but I also was a bit scared, because to me, uh, there are kind of, I know two types of keynotes. One, which is kind of master experts, uh, and the other where it's people that com come from a completely different field and they, they hopefully give some inspiring talks. Uh, not always, of course. And, but in my case today, I'm really kind of in between because al also I have done many different things. For the last years, I kind of starting to be a naive uh, physio uh, researcher, which puts me in a kind of uh, not <laughs> very good position here. Uh, and also, also, uh, also, I have been working in music for, 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 for many directions. I'm, I'm clearly not a, a brain music expert like Leontios showed us yesterday. So what we will try to, to see, it's, uh, to show, to talk, is of course a bit of music uh, and creation and related with some physiology, because I work in, as, as Hugo has said, uh, I work in the Music Technology Group in Barcelona, which is a big research group where with, we deal with many different things. And my area is mostly interaction, so tangible interaction, uh, real-time interaction, but it started uh, related to music. So in order to, to put that in a bit of a context, so that's what I will talk, uh, but, or I will try. Uh, creativity, physiological computing, and music from my own uh, experience, but also uh, putting things a little bit in context. So I will kind of do these four parts. One, the, the beginning, I, I will show why I'm doing that. I will try to explain, starting from the 80s. Uh, I, I will show some videos, even some very punk videos. Um, then I will try to put a bit of, in context uh, the history of, of phys physio music, especially uh, brain music. Then we will, uh, I will show a little bit what we are doing now, which is a, a, a balance between research and, and not so much research. And, and let's see what can we hope about the future. So uh, that was 34 years ago in Barcelona. I was... Uh, I'm the one in the middle. I was playing tenor saxophone, I was playing free jazz, and I was a bad saxophone player because I didn't like to practice. Uh, I, I've never liked repeating things over and over. I, I just like to, to, to understand it a bit, and, and for me that's okay. But I still really love to improvise. Uh, in the meantime, I, I was studied physics. That was a really honor. I became a bit more popular in, in, in the 2000s, and they they called me, oh, you were once a physicist. So <laughs> I was once a physicist, but I, 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 did, I have never worked in physics. In fact, uh, while 